Today we're going to be making a special art project to honor Memorial Day and it is a really important symbol for Memorial Day that we're going to be making today and that is the poppy, the red poppy. And you might have heard it in the, um, the reading that we did about Memorial Day today. And as I do the project, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history behind why the red poppy is a symbol for Memorial Day. So you're going to need, I have blue paper. You can always use white paper. This paper is just going to be your background paper. You're going to want some red paper, really important for a poppy. Green paper for the stems. And then I have pattern paper, but if you have plain black paper, that's best to use for this. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, glue, and it's helpful to always have a pencil to do some tracing. So we're gonna start with making the poppies. And to do that, I'm actually gonna fold my red paper in half like this so that I can make more than one poppy at a time. And the poppy shape is just going to be a simple, almost like a clover, but a really thick clover, four petals like this. So I'm going to make three of those. And it's okay if they look a little bit different because each flower is unique. So I'm not going to have perfectly exactly the same flowers if that's not how it is in nature. So I'm going to cut out my three poppies that I drew. You can see here again, just four little shapes to make it kind of like a clover, but a little bit thicker than a clover. So the red poppy was um, the first flower to grow in war-torn battlefields. So the battlefield got really muddy and messy because there were lots of feet running over it. And so it kind of ruined the ground a little bit. But what was interesting and kind of uh, a little bit of a sign of hope was that these red poppies appeared after the battles were done. And so it was a nice kind of symbol after um, all of that kind of bad stuff from the war. So the wearing of poppies in honor of American soldiers who died in battle became a Memorial Day tradition. And um, it was a soldier who noticed the red poppies and he wrote a poem about it actually. And he wrote this poem and years later, there was a woman who actually was a, used to be a teacher, but she was working um, as a secretary for the army and she noticed the soldier's poem and it talked about the red poppies and she thought that would be a really nice symbol to honor those who had fallen in battle. So she took the image of a red poppy and she started going around and just promoting the idea to people that they should wear poppies on Memorial Day, put a pin it to their uh, jacket or display them um, on grave sites or other places on Memorial Day. And she just, she did that for years and years and just told people about it. And so everybody really liked the idea and they started doing it more and more. And so she's affectionately known as the Poppy Lady now, um, but her name was Moina Michael. And so it's all because of this woman who noticed that these soldiers did something really brave and wanted to honor them in a really special way. And so she, she started this tradition. So I have my poppies cut out now. And what I'm going to do next, and this is kind of the fun part, you can choose to use scissors if you want, but you can also take your black paper and you're gonna make the center of the poppy. And the center of the poppy is these little black seed like pods. So I'm actually just going to take my black paper and I'm going to tear it into little pieces, teeny tiny pieces. Um, and I'm going to glue those down into the center of my poppy. 
You can decide how many you want to fill the center of your poppy, however it looks best. So tear it into little pieces. That's kind of fun to tear paper, right? You're giving, you're giving an excuse to destroy something. So you tear up those little pieces of black paper and place them in the center of the red poppy. And then finally, you're gonna take your green paper and cut straight from one side to the other. And I'm making my poppy stems pretty skinny. So I'm gonna show you what one looks like glued down onto my paper. Obviously, I made six flowers when I cut out all of them. So you can glue all of them down and it'll look like a really nice kind of Memorial Day picture when you're all done. So I have my blue paper, and the first thing I'm gonna do is glue down my green stem because I wanna have that behind my red poppy flower. So I'm gonna take my glue and glue down the green stem. And you don't have to do them straight up and down. You can kind of do them at an angle if you think that'll look nice. Then I'm gonna take my red poppy flower. I have not glued down the black center pieces yet. So I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done gluing down the red flower. And I'm gonna stick the red poppy up at the top. And then I've got all those little tiny scraps of paper that I um, ripped up. So I'm actually going to put just a couple of dots in the center of my red flower of glue. And then I'm just going to kind of scatter the scraps of paper in the center until I'm happy with how it looks. Because remember, those are just little like seed pods. So it kind of looks nice if you have the torn paper look instead of exactly precisely cut pieces. So there you go. I've got my stem and my red flower, and then you can see the black torn pieces of paper in the center. I'm gonna fill this page with more poppies, and I might add some grass down here too, and you can do the same. It's your project. As always in art projects, you can be creative with it and add your little own flair to it. Have fun.